Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this... <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Adding more grind? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? That's a brilliant idea. And Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers is all about brilliant ideas, with its no crossplay and dried up player base. Outriders, by developer People Can Fly, does have crossplay, by the way, and both are from Square Enix, but let's not focus on that. Let's talk about Crystal Dynamics. Help me, viewers. Could you tell me what's funnier? Number one, Increasing the XP grind in a looter games as a service with no loot worth chasing and broken dailies after seven months, or number two, trying to convince the fans that they asked for this because too many perks are confusing. Comment now below. Let's pretend for a moment that Crystal Dynamics actually listened and communicated studio audience laughter. Do you think there's anything that maybe, just maybe, would tear a little bit higher than this made-up lie? For things that people actually might have wanted in this stale-ass game in the seven months since launch as the player base has been dropping like flies. Does anything come to mind? No? Nothing? Just this made-up reason then. Okay. Me level up too fast, game too confusing, Boonga. You're doubling down on this one. It really reminds me of that provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment comment. You remember that? You remember how well that went down? More like price and accomplice to murder. Marvel's Avengers didn't just die. It was murdered by you, Crystal Dynamics. You know? Stop, stop. He's already dead. I could do these memes all day, homie. So of course, when you somehow found a way to make the seven month mess that you created worse, publications of course rolled up to dunk on your stupid ass. Jason Schreier, at long last, graces this pathetic train wreck of a game with a tweet. They didn't put this clown makeup on you, you did. I'm used to people sending me death threats trying to paint me as a hater or trying to change the definition of words to fit their narrative. I just don't mention it all the time. You know why? Because I'm not a woman and I'm black, so the world doesn't care. But more importantly, I'm intelligent enough to know that some people do what they do because they're seeking attention, attention that you've given them by telling people that you're distancing yourself from the Reddit, one of your most popular communities. Because of toxicity, Invalidating the respectful, well-articulated, concise, and valid criticism from people who are interested in and willing to play your mess, homie. It's not enough that you've made these controversial and unpopular changes. You are now lying to people. It necessary, homie? Shills, now that journalists and lawyers, lifelong gamers and editorialists are weighing in, on this stupidity. Are they haters? Are they all haters? Or are they merely dissecting statements that Crystal couldn't possibly have expected anyone to believe? It doesn't make them mean or nasty. It makes them observant, intelligent. Normally, I'd take pleasure in watching these shills try to control the narrative, searching for the figurative positive needle in their awkward struggle to position the negative haystack under our rug. So, hopefully nobody sees it. I'm just gonna hope to smooth this out. Please, no. What, Crystal, why? But some of these these dudes are legitimately in tears. And I have news for you. We're not even in the I told you so season yet. You better brace yourself. This upcoming update will break things that you wouldn't have believed possible. I take no joy in this game's failure, but you? Nobody's making y'all act like this. These are who you've been dealing with. This is who your favorite chill defender always sides with, developers who are rarely communicating, and when they do, it's to lie to your stupid little faces because that's how they view you. That's how they think of you. As a simpleton. As a rube. And hey, can you blame them? Look how many are watching Super Rebels videos. <laughs> but for the rest of us, it's insulting. Because if you simply leveled with us, no pun intended, people would understand. 
Some people are playing your game no matter what. Sometimes you're forced to make an unpopular decision. But you know what you're not oftentimes forced to do? Lie about it. You could have been firm. Like Kyle. In the pants. Then you hide your response like a little bitch. That's what that senior moderator did after he chased me across platforms. When you're wrong, you need to admit to it, homie. Publicly. Twitter. YouTube. Use your primary channels, Crystal Dynamics. You can do that. But a day's gone by. I gave you today. Months ago, I said if this developer had any sense, they would have unlocked the hero's full skill set in the single player, with the exception of Kabala Khan and Iron Man, who both seem to have a flesh out amount of time to be played in the single player. But when heroes like Thor, who barely get 18 minutes worth of play in your full fucking single player, have the overwhelming majority of their skills locked, of course people are going to walk away thinking that the game is button mashy because many of their skills are not available available to them, and your solution, after seven months of this game being out, instead of adding more content to the game, you're deciding to make it a little more grindy. You want people running on the hamster wheel longer even though they have no incentive to do so? You are punishing these people. I'm linking the lawyer's video in my description because this dude had some sense and you know how long I've been dying for another voice like that in this community, but nobody cares about your game. And you developers seem hell-bent on being the assassin of this game by accelerating people not caring. You clearly don't have cloning labs or Omega Threats ready, there's no patrol, there's no good endgame, you don't have any loot worth chasing, you can't manage adding villains. After seven months, you still can't make skins that aren't ugly. And you're thinking that it's a good idea? That instead of showing something, instead of leading off with something strong, powerful, a dub, as these losers like to call everything, when there's nothing but L's flooding in for you and your two archer, no pun intended, abomination of a game. You're also treating your remaining player base to lies right in their little face. You want that? You like that Avengers players? Yeah. You're acting like the shills and the defenders who attack me. Instead of acknowledging and addressing the facts, they attempt to shift the focus. And it becomes clear, crystal clear, that they've lost. You've lost. I make these videos so that there can be no doubt what real players do and have wanted. These lies expose you as the person that I've shown people that you are. It's as big a lie as pretending like no one wants traversal changes when my man Cosmic is in the replies of every one of your tweets. You know people attack this boy for simply saying what he wants to be in there? How dare he have an opinion? As if he's forcing people and they stupid ass eyeballs to look at his fucking comment. And these people flex beta energy by leaving a comment under this boy's godlike tweet. This dude's a hero, an inspiration to us all. He wants something, he makes it clear, and you're gonna give it to him. You're gonna give it to all of us, otherwise, we're gonna remember a time when you existed, Crystal Dynamics. Remember, even when asswipe moderators harass me and accuse me of doxing, when these Kool-Aid sipping illiterates try to call me a hater or deplatform me because I'm invested in the truth. Because like most, I don't like being lied to, and the truth will set you free. No paid sponsorships, no links. Thank you patrons, thank you sponsors, subs, donators, I love you. Viewers, please find my Streamlabs link in the description. This game clearly isn't going to be needing any of your money, homie, but I'm willing to suffer through the catastrophic ongoing failings of Crystal Dynamics. Times are tough right now, so I want you to be careful, Crystal Dynamics. If you keep this up, there might not be anyone to offer you toilet paper for your face if you ever manage to get your head out of your ass.